Thank you for tuning in. Today's devotion is for September 24th. The scripture states, And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 8. Jesus carried the awful weight of responsibility for the salvation of humans. He knew that unless there was a decided change in the principles and purposes of the human race, all would be lost. This was the burden of his soul, and none could appreciate the weight that rested upon him. Through childhood, youth, and manhood, he walked alone. Yet it was heaven to be in his presence. Day by day, he met trials and temptations. Day by day, he was brought into contact with evil and witnessed its power upon those whom he was seeking to bless and to save. Yet he did not fail nor become discouraged. In all things, he brought his wishes into strict abeyance to his mission. He glorified his life by making everything in it subordinate to the will of his father. When in his youth, his mother, finding him in the school of the rabbis, said, Son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? He answered, and his answer is the keynote of his life work. How is it that ye sought me? Wist you not that I must be about my father's business? The same devotion, the same consecration, the same subjection to the claims of the word of God that were manifest in Christ must be seen in his servants. He left his home of security and peace, left the glory that he had with the Father before the world was, left his position upon the throne of the universe, and went forth, a suffering, tempted man, went forth in solitude, to sow in tears, to water with his blood the seed of life for a lost world. Praise God. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this reminder of Jesus's life. This reminder that he gave up all to come here for a sinner like me, for a sinner as those that are listening. He gave up all. Praise God. Help us to truly take time to reflect on that not only did God the Son create us, but he also came to die and redeem us because we chose and we choose, unfortunately, to continue to disobey your word. Forgive us, please. Impress upon our minds and hearts the pain that our sin causes to the Godhead. Help us to realize that we are helping the devil when we are disobedient to your word, when we are not showing love to each other, when we are not respecting each other, but ultimately the issue is that we don't love you the way we ought to. Because if we loved you, Father, if we loved your word, your truth, if we would but trust you and obey, life would be so different. It doesn't mean that we won't have hard times and struggles and trials and temptations, because we saw that Jesus had all of those things. The beautiful thing is that Jesus did not sin. He chose to submit and to surrender to your will every time. And so, Father, we're asking that you will impress upon our minds and hearts 
to choose your love and your will over our own every time. We ask for the indwelling of your Holy Spirit. We ask that he will take full control of our minds and hearts, for him to clear out all the filth and the nonsense that we pollute our holy temples with, and then to fill us with the love of your word, to fill us with your word and your truth, to fill us with hymns and songs that glorify you. And it's not about the singer, but about glorifying you and bringing our minds and hearts lifted up to your throne room of grace and mercy. Forgive us, I pray once again. Cleanse our hearts and minds. Help us to remember that Jesus said, I must be about my Father's business. Help us, Heavenly Father, to let that be our purpose in life, to be about your business. You have said to us, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and your righteousness, and then everything else will be added unto you. So help us to seek you first, Father, your truth, your word, and then the job that, that's needed and necessary will be added. The things that are necessary will be added. Help us not to spend so much time in the world that we love the world and the things of this world more than we love you. And so we go around playing church and playing Christians, not realizing that you are not satisfied, you're not happy with what we're doing. And so your purpose for us is not being fulfilled. Our own purpose for ourselves is what's being fulfilled. Lord, have mercy on us. Help us to allow your Holy Spirit to really search out our minds and hearts and cleanse us and purify us from sin and self. Especially in your churches, dear Lord, I pray that the truth of your words will, what, will be what we are preaching and teaching and living. Prepare us for Jesus' soon return, we pray. Thank you for your love. Thank you for who you are and all that you do. Help us to keep our focus on Jesus Christ. Help us to love you and help us to love each other. This is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen.